with a few days left for the Lok Sabha and Assembly elections to kick start, senior leader of Biju Janata Dal and former Bargar MP Prabhas Singh resigned from the party's primary membership on Monday. A joint team of town police and Bhavanipatna jail officials arrested one of two under trial prisoners who escaped from Bhavanipatna jail after scaling the boundary wall on Sunday morning from his village. As many as 20 passengers of a bus were injured after the vehicle they were travelling in met with an accident on NH49 at Bangiri Posi Ghat in Baripda on Monday. The meteorological department on Monday issued a yellow warning for rainfall with thunderstorms and lightning to eight districts of Odisha. The summer rain that lashed many parts of the state including Twin City Bhuvneshwar and Katak has brought a brief relief from the sweltering heat. Former Minister Ganeshwar Behra on Sunday joined the Biju Janata Dal (BJD) at Sankha Bhavan in the presence of several BJD leaders. BJP State Vice President Lekha Shri Samant Singhar joined the Biju Janata Dal (BJD) at party headquarters Sankha Bhavan in Bhuvneshwar. Her move came to hours after her resignation from the primary membership of the BJP. In a major setback to the state unit of BJP. Party Vice President Lekha Shri Samant Singhar today resigned from the primary membership of the party. Uttar Pradesh has strong and established women leaders but ironically the majority of this nari shakti does not belong to this state. West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee said on Monday that she is not scared even if Prime Minister Narendra Modi converts the entire parliament building into a jail after the Lok Sabha elections. Bollywood actor Sanjay Dutt, who will be seen in the upcoming Kannada film KD the Devil, has cleared the air about reports of him joining politics. The Supreme Court on Monday dismissed a plea filed by AP Rajya Sabha MP Sanjay Singh against a decision of the Gujarat High Court refusing to interfere with the summons issued by a metropolitan court in a criminal defamation case concerning Prime Minister Narendra Modi's academic degree. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Monday said that the ground situation has seen marked improvement in Manipur and it was possible because of the timely intervention by the center and consistent efforts of the state government led by Anbiren Singh. The Department of Computer Science and Engineering (CSE) at IIT Kanpur is organizing an information come Q&A session specifically for prospective PG postgraduate students interested in the MS mtech and ph.d programs offered by the cse department former tripura chief minister b plab kumar deb on monday said that the alliance between congress and left parties would take the communists to graveyard and even the cpim tripura state secretary would sell the state party headquarters building the enforcement directorate et was questioning delhi chief minister arvind kejriwal's pa personal assistant Bibhav Kumar in the alleged excise policy scam sources said on Monday In the recent past whenever the central agency personnel are being attacked during their course of investigation in any case of irregularity in West Bengal the common practice for the Trinamool Congress is to go in a direct counter attack mode Congress party facing a barrage of onslaught over its manifesto and its alleged connection with the Muslim League came out in strong defense on Monday. Up leader and Delhi minister Atishi said on Monday that it was unfortunate that an opposition alliance could not be formed in Assam and the party was contesting to Lok Sabha seats alone in the state. Pushparaj is back and this time as well the titular character from the film Jukega Nahi Sala. The teaser of the upcoming sequel Pushpa to the Rule was unveiled on Monday. on the occasion of Telugu superstar Allu Arjun's birthday Bollywood actress Eliana Dikras has shared an adorable picture of her world featuring her toddler Koa Phoenix with husband Michael Dolan The stage is set the release date is locked for the upcoming Allu Arjun star Pushpa 2 The Rule and with the anticipation building high for the sequel a new poster from the film was unveiled on Sunday Actress Madhuri Dikshit Nene who was last seen in the streaming movie Majama and serves as a judge on the dance reality show Dance Deewane hopped on the viral Vatavaran 
bandwagon and shared her own take on the trend. Hockey India on Monday announced the 33-member Indian women's hockey team that will continue to train in SAI Bangalore till 16th May. The 60-member assessment squad that reported to camp on 1st April has been spruced up after selection trials that were held on April 6th to 7th. Chennai Super Kings, CSK, are gearing up to face Kolkata Knight Riders, KKR in the 22nd game of the IPL 2024 at the M.H. Chidambaram Stadium, here on Monday. Riding on Yash Thakur's 5 for 30 and Krinil Pandya's economical three wickets helped Lucknow Super Giants defeat Gujarat Titans, for the first time in the history of Indian Premier League, IPL, by 33 runs at Ekna Cricket Stadium, here on Sunday. Riding on Yash Thakur's 5 for 30 and Krinil Pandya's economical three wickets helped Lucknow Super Giants defeat Gujarat Titans, for the first time in the history of Indian Premier League, IPL, by 33 runs at Ekna Cricket Stadium, here on Sunday. All-rounder Romario Shepard said a clear mind, backing from the skipper and coaching staff and their advice to express himself helped him hammer a 10-bowl 39 that eventually proved the difference between victory and defeat for Mumbai Indians against Delhi Capitals in match 20 of Indian Premier League, IPL, 2024 at the Van Khede Stadium here on Sunday. Marcus Stornis 58 of 43 deliveries and late fire by Nicholas Puran lifted Lucknow Super Giants, LSG, to 163 for 5 in 20 overs against Gujarat Titans, GT, in the match 21 of the Indian Premier Lego, IPL, at the Ekna Cricket Stadium, here. Information Technology, IT Solutions provider Emphasis on Friday announced a multi-year global strategic collaboration agreement, SCA, with Amazon Web Services, AWS, to launch Gen AI Foundry for financial services. <laughs>